Hi, my name is Mike, and in this video we're going to be looking at how to connect our Asus ZenBook 14 laptop to a dual monitor docking station. I wanted to make a video on this laptop in particular because it has a couple of quirks that make it different from most of the other laptops you may typically encounter. For this demonstration, we're going to be using our Asus ZenBook 434 series 14 inch laptop, a pluggable brand USB C 4K docking station, which has dual display port outputs and is connected to these two Dell P series 24 inch monitors. And we also have a Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse that we're going to be using for this demonstration. So this laptop in particular, I just wanted to point out a couple of things. Most laptops will charge and connect to the docking station, basically do everything through their USB-C connector. The ZenBook 14 does not support charging through its USB-C connector, so you also need to hook up a AC adapter specific to that model laptop. Something that I like to do is just put my power strip right on the desk behind everything so you can see I've got the USB-C cable going to the docking station and then in the power strip we've got the AC adapter to power the laptop. And like I said, normally this would not be necessary, just this specific model does not support charging through this port. Also this model has a touchpad uh, screen pad down here which you'll see when I plug this in this in addition to being a touchpad is also a small screen and in my experience most people don't like that feature so it tends to come on even if you disable it it comes back on when you plug into the docking station so once we get this plugged in I'm going to show you how to disable that screen again as well so to get started plug into our dock and you may see a little setting up device, etc. You may hear it making a few noises as it downloads any necessary drivers for this hardware. And as I mentioned before, you can see here on the screen it's not charging through that dock. So we'll plug in. And now you see we've got power. All right, and there you can see everything is now on, including the screen pad, and it is duplicating the image across all four screens, which typically you wouldn't want to work like that. So I'm going to show you the Windows controls to fix all of these display settings. So to access that, you would just right click on any blank area of the Windows desktop. If you see my other videos, these steps should look pretty familiar to you already. I'm just going to show them again uh, for the sake of this ASUS video. So right click on any blank area of the Windows desktop, select display settings, and you'll see this with the 1, 3 on here. This bar in the middle means that it's duplicating the screens, which as you can see when I pulled back, it has the same image across all four screens. So we're going to click on that 1, 3, we're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom. We're going to turn off this duplicate, change it to extend, and you can see it just did something kind of funky there. It made one of the screens sideways, and we're going to keep changes. So that's just a thing that happens sometimes. Basically we've just got to kind of using the mouse sideways here. Let's see. All right, so here's our 2 4. Let's hit identify again so you can see what's going on here. We've got 2 4, 3, 1. You see when I'm hitting identify, there's 2 4. There's the screen pad. 1, 3. It's kind of crazy. It's all over the place. So let's get back to our 2 4. Try to find that. 
And you can see two fours coming up portrait flipped. So let's just change that to regular landscape mode. Let's hope we're doing this right. Now let's find, now four is this one. Let's get this over to another screen. This is, all right, so now we've got one, two, three, four, still stuck in portrait mode. So sometimes you kind of just got to play around with this until you get it right. Let's, let's go back, try to get that one back to landscape, keep changes. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we've got one, three, four, two. And they're still all over the place. If I move it off the edge of that, it's coming up down there. So let's hit identify again. Four and three are up here. So you just kind of got to drag them into the right place. Identify four, three. One is down there. So that looks mostly correct. Let's hit identify again. You'll see this touchpad down here is two. So let's go back to this window, hit two, go back down here, and we're going to disconnect two, and you'll see when I click on that, that turned off that little screen pad down there. So we're getting better, getting closer to how we want it. So two is disabled, and we've got one, four, and three in order. So now when I drag the settings window off the left edge of the rightmost screen, it shows up on the right edge of the middle screen. And then when I drag it off the left edge of this screen, it comes down to here. So we could even do that a little bit better if we wanted to. So with our one, four, three, we can take the laptop we could put it down here. So now what that just changed is now when I drag my window around and I drag it off the bottom, it comes down here. Just makes it a little bit match more closely the way my desk is set up. Obviously if you have your laptop all the way off here to the side or in the middle of your desk, I'll see that sometimes where you might want to have the laptop in there if you position it in the middle. Again, that's that's more of a, a user preference. Uh, you know, just kind of set it up how uh, it works best for you and how the how the positions lay out to correspond with your desk layout. So, again. To get to that display settings, it's just right click on any blank area of the Windows desktop, select display settings, and that brought up the window or where we were making all of our changes. One other couple other things you might want to do while you're here in the display settings is you see we can change some of the let's make this full screen here so you can see all the options. You can see we have some options for text scaling. And I typically just say keep everything at recommended. Display resolution, again, I'm just keeping that at recommended. Um, these are monitor independent uh, or monitor dependent settings. Uh, so, for example, you see when I hit four, which is physically this monitor, the scale is 100%, whereas when I hit one, which is my laptop monitor, the recommended scale is 150%. And that's just kind of a Windows setting where it uh, tries to recommend what it thinks would look best based on the physical size of that screen. Bigger font on a smaller screen just makes it a little easier to read. Um, something else you might want to change here, and I'm going to come back up here, I'm going to select monitor number four, which was physically this screen on the left. We're going to make that my main display and what that did was it just changed the location of my desktop icons and also my taskbar shortcuts to make them physically be on the left side of the big left left monitor just sort of 
more intuitive, uh, natural way to use it um, rather than having it on the laptop screen. One other setting I'm going to show you here is if we right click on any blank area of the Windows taskbar, this pulls up the taskbar settings. And again, this is a uh, user preference on a lot of this stuff. Automatically hide the taskbar, use small taskbar buttons. Sounds exa exactly what it sounds like, makes the taskbar button smaller. I like to turn on um, peak to preview the desktop. And you can just take a look at my settings here. Taskbar location on screen bottom. Obviously, you can put the taskbar on the left or the right or the top. And that's going to change with Windows 11. So that's going to be interesting. And I like to say combine taskbar buttons when, when, when full. And we're going to turn on show taskbar on all displays. And taskbar where window is open, combine when full. So what that just did was it turned on a taskbar across all of my windows. And this is kind of to help you organize. So you can see the settings screen. The settings window is on this screen. And it says it down here, settings. So when I move this over here, you'll see this, the taskbar display for that just moved to this screen. Again, you know, kind of might be useful if you have a whole bunch of windows open. You'll see here I just opened Chrome, and we have a shortcut to Chrome. Let's drag that over here, and now my shortcut moved over here. Again, totally up to you. User preference. I like it to better organize my windows this way. So to go over what we just covered in this video, right-click on any blank area of the Windows desktop, display settings, drag the screens into the position that best matches your desk layout. To disconnect on the Asus laptop, to disconnect that screen, you would just find out which one it is, select it, and hit disconnect to this display. And you can see again, 143 on my desk. Not necessarily going to match how yours is laid out if you have a different type of docking station or you know various other factors can change which is shown as those. Close that, right click, taskbar settings, and that gave us the rest of our controls. So hopefully this video is helpful to you, uh, in particular with the Asus 14-inch laptops where you want to disconnect that screen pad and plug in the extra AC adapter rather than try to charge through the USB-C port. Check out some of my other videos. I do a lot of other videos on home office setups, desktop setups, docking stations, configuring dual monitor, triple monitor, quad monitor setups. If this video is helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Have a great day and stay safe out there.